you do not know whom you will help today that you be in a place to recommend you to those who will help you tomorrow. They may not be the ones to help you, but a word from them speaking good about what you did can actually spark up something that will bring a lot of help to you. In today's video, I want to speak about discovering destiny helpers, how to recognize and connect with the right people in your life. The reality is that destiny helpers are all around you, but you may not just know them or you take them for granted because you feel like they are not useful to you, they are not of help to you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Uwe McMahon. In today's video, I want to delve into the practical aspects of discovering destiny helpers and the myths and truth that we all have about destiny helpers so that we can better our lives and become better humans. Number one consideration, you are not at the mercy of men to fulfill your destiny. The truth is that men are only channels through which God helps your destiny, but they are not the source of your destiny. No man gives you destiny. No man tells you this is what your destiny is because they did not design it. Only God designed your destiny and only him can tell you what it is and he alone can help you. And God alone can help you meet the right people through whom you can fulfill destiny. But you are not at the mercy of men to fulfill destiny. Because I see a lot of people walk around trying to please people because they feel like maybe they will help me. Maybe they will help my life. Maybe they will help my destiny. Because by the time you start thinking you are at the mercy of men to have a good destiny, to fulfill destiny, to fulfill purpose in life, you will go into eye service and you start searching for favoritism instead of depending on the favor of God. And that is not God's best for you. In the place of you trying to be a people pleaser just to get their help, you will get out of tune with God. Oh, I'm depending on this person. God will use them to help me. But have you heard from God? Is that who God wants to use to help you? Because if God brings someone to help you, it wouldn't look like, oh, you are at their mercy. If they don't help, your life is done. Abraham replied to the king of Sodom, I solemnly swear to the Lord, God most high, creator of heaven and earth, that I will not take so much as a single thread or sandal thong from what belongs to you. Otherwise, you might say, I am the one who made Abraham rich. That is a kind of statement that people who think you are at their mercy will make. I am the one who made you who you are. I am the one who made you come to this place. And you are not at the mercy of men to fulfill destiny such that you will not live in oppression. Number two, God is your ultimate destiny helper. Who else can help your destiny except the one who gave you the destiny in the first place? With this knowledge, your greatest desire for destiny should be alignment with God. Because if God does not help your destiny, no one else can and no one else will. Because if God doesn't make people help you, no one will help you. It is God that will put your thoughts in people's mind for them to help you. The Psalm 1 to 1 says, My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Aligning with God's purpose and plans for your life will actually benefit your life greatly. Whether it's your marital destiny, your career destiny, your personal life, financial destiny, etc. Everything about your life, it's only God that you need first to be able to succeed. And again, you can talk about the fact that it is God's breath in your lungs that makes you know there is hope for the future. Without you breathing, there's no hope. God said to Jeremiah, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. The truth is you and I have a purpose that God brought us into the world for. And for us to walk in that purpose, we need to be in alignment with God. Because the moment you run out of alignment with God, you and I run out of alignment with our destiny because our destiny is in God's hand. With that being said, only God can orchestrate your destiny and bring good people into your life who will help you. Number three, you will discover destiny helpers by becoming one yourself. The principle of sowing and reaping still holds true. In your life, you are sincerely seeking the good of others to help people with a sincere heart, encourage them, inspire them, and provide where you can. Each of the help you render will somehow find a way back to you. It doesn't mean it will come from the same people. It doesn't mean it will come from the same source that you provided help for. 
but God has a way of orchestrating you finding help because you gave help. So when you help people, you don't need to think about them helping you back. You don't need to have ulterior motive that I'm helping you so that you can do it back to me as if you are going to a transaction. Let me help you today so that tomorrow you can help me. Be my friend today and let me help you so that tomorrow you can help me. You are not thinking of going down. You are thinking of going up. So let your heart and your mindset be, I want to be the helper. People that do not even know that they are the gift, I want to discover that gift and let them know that there is a potential in them. Let me inspire them. All you need to do is to keep helping people. And God who knows your heart will bring help to you in unexpected ways. Luke 6.38 says, Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. The reality of this day and age is that people only desire to sit at the receiving end of destiny helpers. And nobody really wants to become the destiny helper, which is bad. What a wonderful world we would have if you and I decide in our hearts, I want to be of help to people. That everywhere we go, we seek to help people. We would outsource the needs that are available. And how beautiful would it be? That we let go our selfishness and become selfless at every stage of life, whether at career, at home, in friendship, and all facets of life. But that is not the reality we have, and we need to get to that reality. And let go the reality of sitting at the receiving end of destiny helpers. In Genesis 40, Joseph literally became a destiny helper to his fellow prisoners. They were sad, discouraged because of their dream, and he used his gifts and help them by interpreting their dreams. That was destiny help to them. And in Genesis chapter 41, Joseph read of the benefit of being a destiny helper through the recommendation of the person he helped. You do not know whom you will help today that will be in a place to recommend you to those who will help you tomorrow. They may not be the ones to help you, but a word from them speaking good about what you did can actually spark up something that will bring a lot of help to you. And that is why you need to help continuously, sincerely, and with honesty. Number four, your destiny helpers are outnumbered. I believe each of us has experienced help in one point or another. And before you talk about destiny helper, I want you to start from your birth. Because that is when your destiny began. The first breath you took on earth, started your destiny. Were you helped? Were you nurtured? Did someone assist you in one way or another? Yes, they did. That was your destiny helper. The womb you came out from was a destiny helper to you, which is your mother, your father, your guardians, everyone that was there to help you, to nurture you, to win you, help your destiny. Because had it been you died, there would be no destiny. What should that make you be grateful? You cannot even start to count the list of your destiny helpers. Because some people stay in a place of ingratitude, whereby they feel so ungrateful because they feel like nobody has helped them in their life. I know you might have been through so many negative circumstances, negative upbringing, and whatever. But I want you to see the good in everything. That is not denying what you've been through. You've survived somehow and someone helped you it might be true a preacher whom god gave a word to deliver to you your school teachers from your preschool helped you your siblings were of help to you no matter how annoying they were all the people that has assisted you in one way or another are your destiny helpers so they are outnumbered you've received encouragement you've received inspiration and motivation from one person or another even from the stranger that you may never meet again in your whole life so you've been helped and this is to tell you your destiny helpers are outnumbered all you need to be is grateful not to be ungrateful and focus on the things that are not yet done, the things that you've not yet achieved, the things that you are seeking for. Instead, come to a place of gratefulness that you know that destiny help is all around you so that you can receive the help when it's given. Even to those who did you wrong, God can use their wrong to redirect you and bring you good. But Joseph replied, don't be afraid of me. Am I God that I can punish you? You intended to harm me. 
but God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. Here I will ask you that for everyone that has hurt you, instead of you focusing on trying to get revenge to them, I would like you to turn your eyes to the Lord and see what he can do with your mess. See what he can do with your story. See what he can do with your life. See what he can do with all the trauma that you've experienced. See the beautiful message he will bring out of you. Because God is a master at orchestrating things and bringing all your broken pieces to make of a beautiful life. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Number five. Embracing your God-given gifts and talents will help you discover your destiny helpers. Scripture says in Proverbs, A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. In Joseph's case, it was his gift of interpretation of dreams that brought him before great men. He embraced the gift, he used it, he assisted those people in prison with him. And when the word of recommendation came up, he was invited to the presence of Pharaoh, who was the king. And that was how his elevation came to be. So the gifts God has given you, you should not deny them. You should not live in oblivion of those gifts. You should not let those potential you have to remain potential. But bring those potential to reality. Same thing with Daniel. He used his gift and that was how he went to the presence of the king. You need to come to a place of working on your gift, embracing your skills, working on your craft, getting to a place of becoming excellent at what you do. Whatever and work, whatever skill, whatever talent, use it well, embrace it. You may have a gift to encourage, to motivate, to inspire, to make people laugh. Use it well. If you have a smile that can light up somebody's bad mood, use it well with a sincere heart. If you know how to say words that can help someone that is feeling depressed and broken and anxious, use it well. Instead of using your talking gifts to talk down on people, use it to lift people. Because you don't know if it is through these things that your elevation will come. And it is certain because it's proven over time that people's gifts bring them to a place of recognition. You will never know your destiny help us if you don't embrace your gift because your gift become a big part of your destiny your gift become even the bedrock that your destiny is built upon by the time you embrace your gift with the character of humility and wisdom it will take you to places that you would have never thought about you don't walk towards destiny by sitting down one place and praying oh god bring my destiny help us to me god help me god do this Prayer is good because it will orchestrate you. It might be because you prayed to find destiny helpers that God brought you to watch this video so that you can know that your gift will open doors for you and bring you before your destiny helpers. Next aspect of this video I want to talk about is the myth about destiny helpers. It is fascinating that a lot of people think that destiny helpers are only people who offer them financial help. If you don't offer them financial help, they don't value you. They'll be like, what do I need your advice for? What do I need your encouragement for? What do I need your inspiration for? I need money. I need this. And you forget that you are believing a myth. Instead of thinking about people who can bring you financial help, why don't you think of becoming that person who can give to other people? And that will help you so much that you know that your destiny should be about giving, not receiving. People can give you ideas that will blossom and bring out the fruit of your destiny, which you will enjoy. Most people that build businesses and build great things, some of it, if you ask closely, the idea that started it did not come from them. They hate someone say something that might have encouraged them or sparked up that idea. And when you think destiny helping is about financial help, you miss it. Another myth about destiny helpers is that Destiny helpers will magically solve all your problems. It is a lie. You are responsible for your life. Anybody that comes to you will only offer support and guidance and help, aid, 
doesn't mean they do everything. If you think that you only need destiny helpers in times of crisis, that is a myth also. Now let's talk about the other aspect of this video, the truth about destiny helpers. Destiny helpers can help you see potential in you that you cannot see. They can help spot some gifts in you that you may not even know it's a gift. You might just think it's a normal thing. This is how I've always been. I've always been smiling, but that smile might be a gift. I've always been encouraging people. I just love seeing people smile. I love seeing people happy and well. That is a gift. Destiny helpers will push you out of your comfort zone. Do not expect that when people are helping your destiny, they will come and pamper you and rub on your head and make you feel comfortable where you are. Oh, they should encourage you to remain where you are. No. If you really need to go forward in life, you need people in your life. Who will push you out of your comfort zone? Again, Destiny Helpers will offer you valuable support and guidance that will help your life. Another truth is that Destiny Helpers will help you see possibilities and new opportunities for growth and development. And you need all of this. In conclusion, your friends are your Destiny Helpers. And that should make you think about building good friendship, building valuable friendship instead of gathering people around you who will affirm every aspect of you whether good or bad they will just pamper on you and rub on your head and be like oh oh well done well done you need people who will be so honest with you and tell you the truth when you do wrong they tell you you are wrong when you do right they tell you oh congratulations when you win they celebrate you when you make mistakes they rebuke you instead of clapping for you for your mistakes and be like oh well done for your foolishness you need friends who will tell you the truth and for my life i've always told myself i don't need friends who when they see me do wrong they are clapping for me they're telling me no it's okay it's not okay tell me i did wrong Correct me. That is how I will grow. So your friends are your greatest destiny helpers because these are the people you hang around. These are the people that will influence your life consciously and subconsciously. With that being said, you don't need pamper type of friends who will just pamper you and they are insecure because they don't want to lose the friendship they have with you because somehow they are getting some benefits from you. So they don't want to lose that friendship. That is why they don't want to tell you the truth. You need a real friend who would say, if this friendship is going, I can't stay in this space when you keep having the wrong character. You need to change or I'm leaving. You need good friends who will tell you that honest truth, who are secure and whole. Again, your spouse is your destiny helper. Scripture said, then the Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. What should this make you conscious of? This should make you conscious of the fact that you do not just need a spouse who is compatible for your sexual desires, for your passions and your pleasures. You actually need a soul fit. You need a spouse who is compatible to your soul needs, who is compatible for your purpose in life, for your destiny, who is committed to help you and see you grow and see you become a better human. You need a spouse who longs to understand you and is committed to help you instead of compete with you to see who is the better person in this relationship who is the better human in this relationship who is the wiser person in this relationship no you don't need the competition you need to know you both are unique and you bring different things to the picture to make it a beautiful picture it will do you so much good if you have a good spouse in your life because that is who will make your life become more valuable you can talk about the proverbs 31 woman the virtuous woman her qualities and what the bible attributes to her how her husband feels about her which i believe that the husband also has his own part of pouring into her which is, it is about this mutual pouring in that they both pour into each other and they are helping each other's destiny because they are life partners, which means your spouse is your greatest destiny helper if you want to marry or if you are married. Because if you make a mistake in this, then you will end up having a frustrated life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it is beneficial and of help to you and you pick something from this video let me know what you think in the comment section subscribe to this channel if this is beneficial to you give this video a thumbs up and share it to your friends share it to everybody you know you need this content thank you so much god bless you and i hope to see you in my next youtube video bye bye